Hey guys, what's going on today? This is your friend, your pal, your buddy, Dalsu, and we are going to play as the Marine today. We're going to be entering the Gungeon again, penetrating its deep, dark depths. And uh, we've been doing well. I've gotten to level 4, finally, after a lot of difficulty. But I'm learning a lot about how the game works. Every time I play, I, there are new things that I encounter, and I always go and look them up. So that I can kind of grow and learn as a player. Also, my bobbing and weaving is significantly improving, I feel like. I don't like this situation one bit, though. Man, that's a hard starter room. Hmm. That was a little rough for a first room. What do we got? We got nothing? Really? Are you sure you're not going to throw a bunch of enemies at me suddenly? Okay, fine. Chest already. Uh, it's a brown chest, though. But I'll hold off on it for right now. Get rid of this rubber bullet. Those things are annoying. Uh-oh. That was... That could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been real bad. It almost was real bad. Thanks to my cat-like reflexes. My... Abilities to, sur to survive are getting a little bit better, I have to say. Uh, but let's not speak too soon because every time I say that, I end up end up with some damage. So let's let's play it cool here. I don't think there's any grenades around. I'm hoping not. We got the one of these ghosts that I hate so much. It's gonna appear right behind me. And we got rid of them, all right. So we got this shotgun shell left. More. I just hate it when grenades appear. Like, as long as it's, you know, reasonable enemies. See, when grenades appear behind you, that's what I don't like. You never know, you gotta watch out for grenades first and foremost. Tight space in here a little bit. What do we got? Two bullets. That's easily dealt with. Alright, alright. Making good progress. Feeling good about things. <laughs> I was worried about that room for some reason. Um, a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms. But I don't have any choice to do anything, so... And to get out of that corner there. For sure. definitely feel like my game is improving and uh, hopefully it won't like plateau you know I don't I don't want to plateau got another key probably means we'll open that brown box regardless but uh, let's see if we can get to our shop over here these birds aren't too bad to deal with usually got some globules These aren't too bad. They kind of have fast motion, fast movement, which is a little bit ah, annoying. See, I tried to roll over that one, but then I forgot his big brother was right behind him, so I shouldn't have done that roll. It's a bit of a mistake. No coins, really. Okay. I was like face to face with that dude. Nothing. One coin. Not being very generous this level, I must say like this too much. I'm kind of stuck in a corner here, but I got the book out of the way fast enough, so... Alright, that worked out. I don't need that heart. Save it for later, maybe. And another brown chest. So, I guess we're going to be opening some brown chests. What do we got? Uh, Wind-up gun is pretty good. It, uh... I believe it does less damage as you enter the, like, end of the clip, right? It does more damage right at the beginning of the clip. It's the best way I can explain that. So, let's try it. Not a great gun, but first first starting gun. I especially like how rapid fire it is. So, we're kind of incentivized to reload every chance we get. Is there anything up here that I need to know about? 
otherwise and just sit here and tag him all day which I did with gusto all right let's go to the shop what do we have here good sir um yes I'm alive for the time being we have a hammer which I don't remember but it's I, I think it's not not very good but 65 really no I'm not buying that uh okay probably gonna save my money unless there's a real need for something that comes up yeah I can kind of feel that it's weaker towards the end actually I think the pixels are, are actually less pixels in the uh, in the bullet animation the game is very detailed in, in its crafting Yep, yep, the bullets are actually smaller. Right, I just do less damage. Got another heart, nothing to do with it. Alright. You're so good, I don't need your hearts anymore. Well, let's just put a pin in that expression. Because <laughs> I'm sure as soon as I say that. This game seems to be very sensitive to cockiness. What do we got? These are no knockback. No knockback boots, right? Yeah. So you don't get knocked back, which is good. Um, I guess like rubber bullets and stuff, that would be a good way to fight against them. Okay, let's go fight the boss, shall we? And our wind-up gun with 477, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Who do we got? It's the two bullet brothers. Not too bad, usually. I don't really understand their patterns, so that does kind of make them a little bit hard. Just stay far away from them tends to be the key with all the bosses, it's just to kind of keep your distance. It gives you more room to juke, you know. I almost ate it there. <laughs> Almost ate it there. Was able to queue out of it. I guess you should probably... You'd probably be better off... Damn it, had to use, use it again. You'd be better off focus firing one, uh, both of them. Or one of them, right? You'd be much better off. But that's kind of hard to do in practice. Uh, finally got me. I knew it was, I knew I couldn't do it perfectly, man. What a shame. Kill this bro. You're next. It's easy once you get one of them. So yeah, I think focus firing is a lot smarter. Ugh. See, I don't know how you would get out of that other than uh, that was I know how you would get out of that. Just don't suck. Come on. Really doesn't do much damage at all towards the end. Alright, there we go. So Oh Wow, some major coinage there. Uh we'll be able to get back up to full health and armor. It's too bad we couldn't do it perfectly though. I don't know much about this gun. I don't I think I had it once before. Incredibly weak, so thanks. Thanks so much for that. I guess that's just bad luck. Uh, anyway, I need uh, half heart, so let's pop over here and grab this half heart. Boom, we're back up to full health. We could have probably done that a lot better, but towards the end there, I started to... Uh... See, I don't know, I guess it's better to take out one, just like totally focus fire on him. But there are a few times where you just can't escape. I mean, I had to use both my blanks, and then I still took a lot of damage. I would have taken more if not for the blanks. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't really have their pattern down, I guess. Alright, level 2 is going to be good to me. Let's see how weak this pea shooter really is. 
does feel pretty weak. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't be using it. Ah, jeez. I don't really understand these things. You just gotta kill them before they come anywhere near you, basically. It's mostly their trail that's dangerous. Alright, we're gonna stop using the crappy gun. Please. I'll, I'll sacrifice it if I can. If I find one of those places where you sacrifice guns. Alright. Refill it. Sounds good. Alright, I'm getting better. I'm getting better juking, you have to admit. These things are still a pain in the ass, especially when they have fucking necromancers. Great. When they have necromancers, they're like a whole different level of- Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Where is your necromancer? I don't even see him! He's hiding somewhere. And running by this guy is like a recipe for disaster. Let's just face it. There he is. Fucker. Oh god, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really the worst possible thing that could happen right now. Just back up off me, dude. Back up off me. Ah! Alright, that is something that I fucking hate when it happens in this game. <laughs> is uh, Iron Maiden with a Necromancer is about the hardest combination that I've... I mean, they've it's killed me, like, and ended my run instantly when it happens sometimes. Such a pain in the ass. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we managed to get out of it with getting hit twice. Which is not horrible, I guess, for... I don't like this very much. One of the tactics I'm starting to learn as I go on is like, when you get overwhelmed, just focus hard on one, one thing, one thing that you can do to make the room easier, and that was kill, kill that sniper in that situation. I'm trying to blow up the damn grenade before I do this, now go after him. There we go. That worked out. All right. I like that the wind-up gun goes goes through through enemies as well. Oof, that was close. Although I guess the rubber bullets are not so dangerous to me since I have the boots. But still better to avoid testing that theory, I think. I'm getting... Ah, uh, I didn't have to use that there, but... I felt like I had to. <laughs> it's all about having space to run. If you're sure that you have space to run, things are usually okay. If you don't have space to run, fucking necromancer dead right off the bat. Alright, we're gonna roll over this. It's all about having space, man. It's all about having space to move and not, like, mistiming your rolls and not rolling into a fucking wall. That's gotten me so much damage over the over the episodes. And also just paying attention, like, right there. I could have gotten hit easily if I just... Because I was almost kind of, like, looking up here and then he was just right there. Paying attention, you know, that's one of the, the main parts of this game. The game rewards close attention. Okay, we got a grenade. Get rid of that fucking grenade right off the bat. Good. What am I gonna do when my wind-up gun runs out and all I've got this fucking pea shooter? Yeah, I'm going after you first. The bats are kind of annoying. They're not super dangerous. 
I actually find those guys a little more dangerous because you're just not sure when they're going to come at you. All right, we got a refill. Good. Timely refill. <clears throat> this is a slightly dangerous situation, but I managed to kind of go in circles there and get out of it. No key for this box, huh? Now we need to find our shop. Still don't know what this does. Stuff I guess gets gets unlocked as you rescue NPCs, right? It's kind of what we've established. There's the boss. Be lovely to get a bit of uh, armor as well. What's the marine without his armor after all? Clear these guys out, we'll have plenty of room. You gotta make room for yourself, that's... He's stuck now. These guys get stuck sometimes. Give me the coins, I got a lot of money. Give me to the shop, man. I'm gonna buy some shit. For sure. We got a Prime Primer. Still not really interested in the Prime Primer, but... Okay, we'll get a key. No guns, really, man. What kind of a shop owner are you with no guns? Eventually, I'm going to have to try to buy the Prime Primer and put together... Because uh, there's a, apparently... Here, here's what I kind of figured out through reading the wiki. There's a gun that you put together using this and then that bag that I found in that big cavern room when I had the jetpack and then maybe one other thing. And once you put it together, it's always for sale from the blacksmith. Who's that woman that looks kind of like a dryad or something? That's that's as much as I know. Don't ask me more than that. This could be bad. Two of these guys is not good in a room like this. Because of the bounciness. Because of the bounciness. The ricochets. Alright, well that worked out. Do we want this one or the green one? I think this is pretty good. What is that? Right, shoot through. Okay. Well, that's not bad, but it's also not that great because we already shoot through with our wind-up gun, kinda. What is this business? So the only way to get through to do that. Okay. Well, why am I even doing this? Oh my god, I didn't know that that was an edge. Fucking hell. Fucking bullshit. Alright, well, we're going to fight the fight now without our armor. Is that a golden ch uh, it's, it's Is that green or golden? I have trouble. Colorblind, right? I also kind of have forgot about my instant refill. I don't like this guy. The beholster. I don't really know his pattern, so I don't know how I don't know how this is gonna go. Right, he does this laser thing. Gotta shoot his rockets. Okay, now I need to get over here and get some room. It's all about keeping the room. Alright, you don't really get to shoot while you're doing this. He's gonna shoot more rockets when he does that. Not a good time to be reloading, really. Ah. Not a great gun. Ah! Damn it. Taking too much damage, man. Gotta sharpen up here. These reloads are killing me, man. Ah. Gotta keep getting to where you got a little bit more space kind of the key. Ah, get me with the rocket. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, this is terrible. Fuck. Well, here I was talking about how I was getting so much better. And I didn't even make it to the damn third floor. That beholder's hard, though, man. 
I kind of had his pattern figured out, but I didn't have it figured out right at the start. You basically you can't you can't run when the rockets are coming at you. If you run, <laughs> your instinct is to run when the rockets are coming at you, but don't do it. You have to just shoot them. But the fact that I have kept having to reload and the long ass reload time on this gun, I think was a bad combination. Yeah, I, I really didn't do that well with guns. I mean, I had a pea shooter in this, and I was about to go into the third floor. So that's kind of bullshit. I mean. It was my fault too, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully we'll do better next run. Uh, this is just part of doing it on camera. Sometimes you mess up, but I'll see you then. Bye.